Hello YouTube, my name is Kyle. Today I'm going to show you how to draw over videos in OBS using Microsoft Paint. The first thing you're going to do is open a new Microsoft Paint window, size it to the right place you need it to be, go to the Fill tool or the Paint Bucket tool, make a new custom color, doesn't matter what it is, but if you use complete green it's very easy. Let's make it green for now, minimize this, go to your OBS software, add a new source, window capture, name it whatever you want it should pop up as the first thing that comes up if it doesn't just go to the window and select it when you press OK you'll be left with this little window what you want to do is you want to hold alt crop out anything that's not the actual screen that you're going to use once you have just the color for demonstration purposes, I'm going to right click and go to transform. Should go oh right click on it, go to transform, and you should see stretch the screen. When you do this, the entire screen gets filled with the Microsoft Paint window. Just to show you what it actually does, or just to show you how to proceed from that, I'm gonna minimize the room it takes up, put it right over this. When you get it to that point where it's on the entire screen, right click again, go to filters. When you get this tab, you add a new filter. You go to chroma key, and if it's a green screen, it should already be transparent. If it's not a green screen, go to custom, select color, pick screen, and click on the screen. Once you do that, your entire middle screen should be transparent. That's what you want. Or gray. It'll turn gray because that's the background. Press close. Excuse me. As you can see, my little screen right here is now transparent. If I were to go to transform again, stretch the screen, it is the entire screen now. If I go back into paint, click on the pencil tool right here and I make it a different color, let's say red. And don't forget to make it a width big enough that you can see. As you can see, my cursor now is on the entire screen, not just this part. I can draw over whatever I want, just like that. If you want to add this to multiple scenes, it's as easy as going down to the actual window capture right clicking it, copy, and I'm going to have to tell you what I'm doing. I go to the sources, right click, and paste duplicate. And it should work the exact same way. Now I can draw on whatever scene I want. So I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.